Ready to tackle writing your own mystery book? Of course you are! As somebody who studied story theory extensively, brilliant foreshadowing there, I can totally relate. But another part of you is worried. Can I pull this off? Do I know what I'm doing? And while there's no easy answers or formula to avoid artistic failure, there are some things you can look out for when writing a mystery. Now, I can't guarantee you'll be the next mystery star, but you can at least avoid these mistakes and get one step ahead of the game. Speaking of game, the game's afoot. Let's go. Number one, lack of clues. It's easy to make a mystery where things fall into place without a lot of solving necessary. Someone makes a sloppy mistake. Somebody decides to just randomly fess up. Literal smoking gun evidence just appears out of nowhere. But readers want the enjoyment of actually solving the mystery. It's kind of what they signed up for. Even if they can't put it all together, they want to follow along with the characters, especially the investigator, and try to solve the puzzle themselves. If you aren't giving them enough information for them to try to piece it together, it feels a little bit like a cheat. Oh, and uh, really well-hidden clues will give your readers a reason to go back and reread your whole book again. Number two, lack of motivation. But why do I love solving mysteries? What am I even doing here? Protagonists should have a clear motivation beyond just solving the crime, something like the pursuit of a relationship, trying to solve the answer to a bigger question about society, or perhaps trying to level up their notoriety among the detective-solving world. Maybe solving the case will help them restore the credibility of a friend of theirs. Or maybe they'll just earn enough money to finally finish that Pez dispenser collection they always wanted. Keep in mind, the detective does not have to be the protagonist in the story. But if they are, they need a solid emotional reason beyond just solving the case. Give it to them. Number three, no twists. Once you set up the initial crime and the situation, it's really easy to have your story just coast until you get to the solution. The danger is the middle can get really dull. Uh. You don't want the detective just fumbling around for clues or just eliminating suspects without any change in the overall story. Twists are extremely important to keep the story gathering steam. And while the twist doesn't need to be outlandish, what? He's really an alien? It's helpful that the situation becomes worse than the detective expected. Perhaps it's a lot more difficult to solve. Perhaps the implications of solving it are more dangerous to the detective or have an impact on society they didn't expect. Maybe it ends up being a series of murders instead of a single murder. The important thing is the initial setup doesn't remain stagnant for the entire book. Usually about halfway through the story, there's some sort of twist or escalation. Number four, too convenient an ending. Even if you have a masterfully crafted mystery at the heart of your story, you can still tie it up a little bit sloppy. The point is, it's not just the solution that you're revealing, it's a whole dramatic moment. Don't just have the detective casually explain everything. Yeah, um, you did it. Uh-huh. Instead, you should make a situation where there's a little bit of suspense, some stakes. Perhaps there's even the chance the criminal will try to pull a last-ditch effort to escape before the protagonist stops them. While the old, let's gather everybody in the room so I can tell you who the criminal is, is a bit tired in a sense, there's something to it from a dramatic standpoint. It's a trope, but it's a trope for a reason. You shouldn't feel an obligation to borrow that exact moment, but instead you need to figure out how to create an equal amount of tension. How can you raise this suspense while delivering the solution to the final mystery? Number five, sloppy research mistakes. If you don't know how a gun works, ask somebody. The last thing you want is for somebody to read your book and disregard a clue because it was physically impossible for it to work the way that you think it does. That gun doesn't even take those type of bullets. Research never hurts. Find an expert or a friend who knows a little bit about weaponry before you start throwing in crazy things that don't exist. Although, uh, you might want to watch that Google search. Just saying. I'm a writer. I, I just wanted to know how long it took a dead body to decompose in a hot tub. Writing a mystery can sure be challenging at times, but it can certainly be fun as well. If you'd like to learn more about mystery writing, we invite you to join the AutoCrit community. We have our fully functional writer's desk, including an inspiration studio that can help you plan a mystery plot in moments. 
our academy page, which includes a mystery writing course, and our online community that includes mystery authors such as yourself. Now, in the meantime, I'm still trying to find the other sock missing from my dryer, so, uh, case is afoot. See you there.